Hey guys, welcome to another video regarding the Redmi Note 7 Pro and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Havoc OS 2.4 which is the official Havoc OS 2.4 initial build for a Redmi Note 7 Pro Violet and it's based on Android 9.0 Pi with the latest security patch and the stock OS as kernel. So without wasting more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, Havoc OS is the first official ROM for a Redmi Note 7 Pro and it is based on Android 9 Note by, of course, like, yes. So you can see this is the Havoc OS logo and it says 2.4 version, like it's April, so it's 2.4 and if it's May, then it's 2.5, like 2.5 will come in May. Then you can see build type official, device violet, which is the Redmi Note 7 Pro, maintain a root to arch, it's me. Then Android version 9 and get 5 April 2019 security patch, the latest available by Google. Then you can see the Android Pie Easter egg. And here we get the stock OSS kernel. You can see April 21. The build is April 21. And the kernel has been compiled, uh, like, compiled at April 21. Let's start with the home screen and we get this launcher, which is like a fair launcher and everyone likes it. It has a lot of like options you can choose within. And you can see a blur effect has been added. So it looks really nice and let's go into theme you can see we get all of this lawn chair features the desktop all of the desktop related so I will just do this because let's like skip this part because it is like a lawn chair not a lawn chair review so just have a voice review so we get all of the functions here you can install lawn chair like on any of the ROM but if you do have a voice if you install have a voice you will get it by default so these are all the functions present in the launcher and you can see it also has google now support also uh, at a glance works really well so yeah also guys with this uh, latest havoc os 2.4 update like it's the first uh, build for our device the redmi notes in pro we get this android q lock screen which like the lock screen clock actually and it looks really nice as you can see it's 1832 and you can even change it in the settings to your default like it is default it is like by default it's the pi one but you can just go into the lock screen settings and change it to the android q text clock so it looks really nice but sometimes like you can see the weather and the information below the widget it looks kind of like if you are using the normal phone it looks kind of weird but yeah it's okay actually for this like the initial stages now guys let's move to havoc settings like the main thing which you guys here on like if you have used havoc OS before you can like you already know all of the settings but if you are the first time havoc user and if you're using redmi notes in pro these are the settings you get status bar and everything like all of the category yeah, like categories are been properly like done so you can see we get the status bar customization related to gestures clock then battery network you can see wi-fi data indicators logo your custom logo and the default is havoc os one the logo as you can see let's oops sorry logo style to default havoc now this is how the default one looks and you can set any of them you can see i like the pac-man one so i set that one also you get volte icon support then 4g icon data disabled icon or customization and breathing notifications so volte icon is from oss or like os sorry oxygen os and it looks really nice now i'll just go through the quick settings menu you can see this is what we get and like there are a lot of customizations if i keep like telling you all of them so you'll just like quickly take a look at it while i'm scrolling it will be like a lot of time if i just go through every each and i like, keep explaining it like everyone knows what customizations is are then we have this rounded corners and stuff so you can properly adjust your status bar padding and corners buttons we have power menu advanced reboot then we have uh, navigation bar and you can select navigation mode dui support is present you can see smart bar and fling then we have gesture and we have one plus gestures edge gestures spy control swipe gestures everything like all of the gestures then we have recent and quick step sorry lock screen and also guys this is the option where you can set the uh, clock style to text android q and that will be like this so yeah which i already told you guys now uh, as you can see we have the face auto unlock and face lock works guys the google one so that's really awesome also like recent we have the slim recent yes we have undergo great stock everything present 
like like everything presented in other roms like all of the uh, additions of customization like havoc is the king of customization so like it has everything also aggressive battery settings has been added input method related to keyboard oops let's go again i guess notifications you can see uh, in call vibration everything is present battery saving oops and miscellaneous oops are yeah okay so these are the miscellaneous settings and present you can see uh, screen record quality full screen uh, screenshot type so also you can change it to partial screenshot so and into the about you can see we have developers the main the lead team anushek prasad and victor herman their like ids and what they do co-founder and all and here we have support team and official devices uh, like i like i have sent the pull request for it but you can see it's not added but my name is there for redmi note 5 pro so yeah it will be added the redmi note in pro string will also be added into that so yeah you can just like check it afterwards also guys gcam works out of the box so you can just you have to just like install the apk and if you like select the like the one version which has this uh config already set so you can just restore it or you can just install a gcam with that config so yeah gcam works really well okay guys now we are going to take a look at what is working and what not now many of the guys like will be having really really uh like really like thoughts about this like it's havoc os complete customization king of rom how is the performance the performance like really uh you can compare it to any cf or like aos p rom it's not direct lacks in performance but yeah you can like the performance is actually like pixel experience but it will not be like that smooth i'm not just like checking it fps it's not related to that but yeah it's actually a high framework customized rom so it will not be that smooth but yeah the overall experience with all of the framework customization made into this it's really really smooth guys if you are like going to like actually use it for like customization and gaming purposes also guys many people will be like what is working and what is not like the hardware terms like as you can see wifi is working bluetooth works mobile data vot everything works fine now there are some issue guys yes like there are some issues and people will be like okay like i have to actually share it with them so yeah the first issue is cache not working so you cannot uh, like stream to your tv like just share your screen to your tv you can, like we already know like what is cache screen so yeah you cannot like just do that also fm radio is not working it just like opens and it force close after you input your headphones and start it so you can like just try if it works then great if it not then it's like actually a bug like someone reported it is a bug also double tap to wake doesn't work so these are like all of these bugs are same in all of the roms you are like getting in for like redmi note 10 pro also guys there is like one more thing i have to say like many people will be having questions about the fingerprint and face unlock like those both things are working as you can see fingerprint works fine works fine okay there is a small delay sometimes but it works fine also face unlock as you can see i have already enabled it oh my god like the camera was up here and i was just looking at the phone and it got unlocked so it is pretty fast if you are comparing with redmi note 5 pro so okay it works really fine so yeah like when it detects the face like it's actually using the google one so not the miui one and i don't know like actually how it was like i didn't set the miui one how fast it was but yeah this is pretty fast than the devices i have used like the redmi note 5 and the redmi note 5 pro like it fails on those devices sometimes but due to that ai camera it works really well so yeah face unlock this is a thumbs up for you and many people use this uh, rom like especially for face unlock purposes like custom roms for face unlock from google so yeah that's really awesome okay guys that's it for a small review like also explaining about the features and what's working and what's not also guys if you want to uh, check the installation you can follow the like the procedure which i'm going to do and if you already know the installation like if you are from telegram then there is no use so now let's move to the like installation process let's reboot into recovery also you can power on the phone and press the volume up and uh, power button also guys this is the xta thread for redmi note 10 pro have a os and here is the installation 
uh, given so you can just check it so yeah here is the installation and everything the links all are being here so yeah you can just check it so for the installation we need this few files which i will be showing you also the tdrp has been booted so going into wipe also guys if you are coming from any other domain if you want to stay on that you are just going to like check how always it is like how it is then you have to backup first so backup like do an android backup you already know what to do like an android like every each and partition without leaving the, like leaving the images sorry then you have to go to wipe and clean this shit so to clean this like just leave internal and sd card clean everything go to install now first you have to install this lineage firmware then rom add more zips then mount system valid and open g apps now after you flash this uh, add uh, mount system violet uh, which is for violet our like device is not a and not ab it's a, like hybrid of a and ab partition it is like it is using guys it is using system as root like a only system root only so i don't know what like it's actually like a different even hybrid combination of both so yeah so we cannot like actually be uh uh like focusing on how to like make it just in one zip but you have to flash the firmware and for g apps also like you have to flash a separate patch so that is g apps patch which is mount system or else g apps will give you error so please follow it like properly and let this all of the zips get installed i will just like push it forward okay guys as you can see all of the zips has been installed and like i had the auto reboot option so it is like auto rebooting after the installing all of the packages so this is the boot logo added me by Xiaomi and I hope boot logos will be coming soon. Custom boot logos for our Notes and Pro is already like available for Wins and Wired, which is the Redmi Note 5 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this is the Havoc OS logo and you have successfully installed the ROM and it will boot and like boot in a like few seconds or a minute less than a minute. And then you can set up and enjoy. And guys, yes, that's it for this uh, video. Of the official have a course installation and a small quick review of all of the features i like actually i was going to make a small video but i caught up like a lot of bigs so it, it may be like 11 or 12 minutes i don't know so like sorry for this like i will just like, uh, drop the video time a bit and yeah see you guys in the next video till then bye bye it booted bye bye